latency-based routing allows you to direct traffic based on the lowest network latency possible for your end user based on region. So here is a more complex looking example. As you can see, it's a lot more code than the other ones, but it requires a latency resource record to be set for uh, something like EC2 or ELB that hosts your application in each region. Um, so the idea is that we would have to have um, a redundant resource, of course. And so, you know, an example could be here would be you have two copies of your web app backed by ALB, one in one region, one in another, and it's going to choose where the lowest latency is. But getting my pen tool out here, let's take a look at this because these records look very similar. So we have uh, this on example.com and this one on example.com. They're both A, but the key difference is that you have to provide a set identifier because when you have two with the same name and the same type, then you'll need this identifier. And so we're just naming them based off the uh, region that they're in to distinguish them. And notice that we set latency routing policies based on its region. And then we have alias target to say where it is going. It doesn't have to be an alias target, but that is what we're utilizing here. So hopefully that is clear and we will see you in the next one.